Good morning, Les from Retired and Living the Dream. And this morning, it's an early morning, it's 7.30 in the morning and I'm going to wash the car today. Now it's a very important day today because this is the day before we go on our big holiday tomorrow on the Sunday. We're going away for nine days over Christmas and New Year period. So, we live in a holiday location but we're still going to take a nice holiday for a few days, Christmas and New Year. So I'm going to give the car a wash and today's video is a bit about everything really. So let's see how we go. So, for those people who watch my car washing video, this this will go on for about 15, 15 minutes or so. And um, I just want to get nice and clean. We've got a lot of gecko crap on there. And so, anyway, so first of all, I want to thank all my subscribers from this year. Because I'm almost, well, I'm over 9,000 now and as I say, heading towards the 10,000 goal and very, very exciting about that because it, I appreciate everybody that subscribes to the channel and and gives me support and things like that. And, and it's a wonderful feeling because it's nice to be able to help other people out. And, uh, and with this video, I'm going to do exactly the same like I've done with all my other videos. Hopefully give you some in, information, a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of friendly advice about everything living here in Thailand. Now, 2023, I'm just going to go ramble on here, I know, I know, but I've got a lot to say really, and 2023 hasn't been a very good year around the world and everything else like that, with all the problems, the cost of living crisis and things like that. So is 2024 the year that you need to make a change? 2024 is going to be the same like 2023, where you just do exactly the same. And then 2025, you're going to be in the same position and you haven't changed your life or you haven't done anything about it. Make 2024 a difference. Now I'm going to give you some reasons to why you can make difference. Everybody goes on about the cost of living crisis and things like that. Now some of my popular videos are when I do talk about how much it costs to live. And I'm going to give you some examples and weigh them examples up as to what you're paying, where you are in comparison to thinking outside the box and living outside of your box in a different country and seeing what stepping outside of that box can actually do to your lifestyle, well-being and uh, peace of mind and things like that. So okay, everybody that's watching my video knows that I've lived here now for seven years. But we're actually buying this house now, but in the days when we were renting it, we paid the equivalent of 400 baht a day. 400 baht a day to live in this house. So I'll put the calculations as to Australian dollars, American dollars, pounds and things like that in the side when I'm going through the prices. But 400 baht a day for living in here. Less than a hotel room, isn't it? It's just incredibly cheap. So 12,000 baht, I need some more water in there. 12,000 baht a month we paid to live in here. Uh, 250, 260 pounds or something like that. A month, a month. What could you get in your country for that a month? Look at this beautiful weather outside. 7.30 in the morning here. And we're in uh, winter season here. It is a little bit chillier, I've got to say, but it's nice compared to the, the hotness it has been. So 400 baht a day. We just got our electricity bill in and our electricity bill for the month was 569 baht, which is about 14 pounds. A month, a month that is. Not a day or a week, a month. We're lucky because my wife doesn't like air conditioning. So she doesn't like air conditioning on in the bedroom. 
So I've sort of got used to the sleeping when it's a little bit warmer. And we just have a couple of fans going all night. And for me, that, that makes it cool enough. So we don't have air conditioning on much in the room on the night time. If it's, if it's exceptionally hot, then we'll put it on for an hour to cool the room down. But we still have fans. So yes, we still do use the air conditioning, but not as much as what some people do. Some people have got it on 24 hours a day that I know of. And, um, but even so, that's still, the electricity bill is less than a hundred pounds a month. Maybe it's five or 6,000 baht a month. So even if you're running the air condition on peak, it's not that expensive really. In comparison, to my sister is paying that amount over a hundred pounds. Um, just short of a hundred pounds a week she's paying. Uh, gas and electricity so our electricity like 400, uh, 569 badish something like that it's never ever ever in the seven years we've been here ever been over a thousand baht it's usually eight or nine hundred baht and we've got a little bit of solar <laughs> that reduces by a hundred baht a month you know two pounds a month by having a bit of solar and I like playing around with doing stuff like that, so it, it was free for me to install because I did it myself. And it's, it's simple to do, it's not difficult to do. I've done a video on it, so if you want to watch it, have a look at the video. And it's like an emergency backup for less than 10,000 baht. So that's the, that's the money that we pay to live here in this this house we've lived in this house now for just over seven years and i love it sun comes up there i was there having me cup of coffee this morning at six o'clock in the morning watching the sunrise it's a magical magical feeling it is so i've just done a video with regard to assisted living for those people who who um, want to look at assisted living and maybe he's, you know, a retirement home and things like that in Thailand. Now that's been very, very well received. It's had over 13,000 views and majority of the views are, you know, the comments and that are, are all positive of what you can get over here for a cheaper retirement home and nursing home and and assisted in care in comparison to the western countries and because that's been such a successful video it tells me that there's a demand for it and there's people wanting to know more so i'm going to do some more videos next year on how we can get that price even cheaper than than what we did on the video there's ways and means of of uh, obtaining assisted living care and getting somebody to take care of you and look after you. Much cheaper than what it says on the video. That, that, that's just like a package that comes across and it's all done for you. And it's, it's, but if you prepare to shop around a little bit and do a little bit of leg work and uh, looking at things, you can get it cheaper than that as well. And you can get it really cheap because there's ways and means of doing it. It's like everything in Thailand, well, every, everywhere in the world. You know, there's always a, another way. And I'm going to suggest them ways. We're going to find some proper prices for nurse care, uh, just assistant care. So if you don't need a full, like, medical care or, you know, dementia care and Alzheimer's care and things like that and we'll come up with some prices and with some some ideas for those people that are looking for things like that because I'm like boots on the ground I can I can do all the spade work for you so if you've got any questions put them in the comments down below and uh, what exactly you want me to find out and I'll I'll do my best to find out for you 
because anything is possible over here, it really is. We live in a land of opportunities and uh, I've got a, a Thai friend who wants to start his own nursing home here in Rayong and he's got the contacts for, for the nurses and, and care assistants and things like that so he is my go-to guy with finding things like that and this is in Rayong but Patty is just up the road and they're more into this than than they are here but um, everything's possible everything's possible you just give me a question and I guarantee I'll give you an answer so no matter what question you're going to ask I can find the answers and give you an answer to your question obviously keep them well within the bounds of realism you know if you want to <laughs> I'll tell you this little sort this being unrealistic 72 year old man contacted me and he came to see me and I always ask him, ask people what their story is and what they're after and uh, some people's unrealistic views. 72 year old, he has no money, a small pension, he wanted a Thai girl with her own house, her own car, didn't want anything off him at all and he was going to live with her. <laughs> And, and I'm quite blunt in my answers to some people and that's what people like about me because I'm honest and I tell it how it is and I said I'm sorry but there are not many Thai ladies with their own house, their own car who don't need an income want a 72 year old failing health guy here in Thailand he wasn't very happy with my answer so he sort of said a couple of expletives and off he went Do you think that was unrealistic? A 72 year old man wanting a Thai girl with her own house, her own car. He didn't want to ask for any money off anybody else and she was going to take care of the rest of his life. Yeah. <laughs> By doing this YouTube thing, I meet some wonderful people and I meet some not so wonderful people and I've got to say majority of people that I meet are good but you get the occasional person who is away with the fairies away with you know just come on just be realistic with what you're asking for what you, you know just think of what you've just asked me you know is that really really possible you know you, Thailand is a cheap place to live, it's a lovely place to live, but you need some money to live here. You can't live here virtually for free, and some people seem to think that you can live here on nothing, or next to nothing, or you're going to earn some money living over here. Uh-uh, that's not going to happen. There's plenty of people out there, I'll tell you, you know, you can do that. You know, I'm doing a video at the minute with regard to on making money online again have a look at that one that will tell you the truth I tell the truth on my channel and I don't um, give you any BS I tell it how it is so that's one of the biggest things I've got to say that people say about me that I'm straight and honest and I do what it says on the can I tell you how it is Maybe some people don't want to hear that, you know, and I've been very blunt in some of the people that come to me and ask me very various questions and do you think it's going to work, do you think this is going to... And I've lived here for 12 years now, so I know a little bit about living here, I know a little bit of how it goes on around here. I've got plenty of friends that live here and I can see their mistakes, what they've made and moving on from there and... 
I can see the people that make things work. And I've got to say, I'm one of the people that make things work over here because you adapt. When I first came over here and I got told off for this, it's, oh, well, in England we do this and in England we do that. And in England, and the girlfriend at the time said, Les, you're not living in England, you're living in Thailand. So, like it or lump it, it is what it is in Thailand. It's not perfect, but it's more, for me, it's more perfect than it is in the UK at the minute. Because the UK it lost its way and there's a lot of disharmony and horrible feelingness in, in the UK. As there is in America, as there is in Australia and New Zealand, I hear it all from everybody. And I speak to everybody around the world. There are many people not happy with where they're at. So like I say, 2024 make it a difference even just look and evaluate and reconsider your options because in life we always have options and it's whether you're going to actually take the plunge and do something about it or you're going to be one of them people OMY the OMY people one more year one more year then I'll do something about it and that one more year turns into two more years three more years ten more years and then they actually don't do anything about it health wise people say to me a lot about health well what if I get sick and my answer is what if you don't what if you don't get sick and you live the next ten years in your country thinking well if I get sick I can't afford to live there so in ten years time when you're not sick and you're still well and you're still okay, then that's 10 years wasted of what you could have been living over here. We're going on holiday tomorrow. And the whole holiday in a, on a beautiful tropical island is gonna cost us about 250 quid. 12, 13,000 baht to go on a beautiful tropical island, even though we live in a holiday location. And I'm so, so looking forward to it. Everything is cheap over here in Thailand. I'm not telling everybody to come and live over here in Thailand. Just do what you feel. Go and have a look at different countries outside of your country where you're living. If you're unhappy, make a change in your life for 2024. So from Les, retired and living a dream. Leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic Christmas and New Year. Bye for now.